Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tigger Studio. In this Quixel Mixer tutorial for beginners, you will learn how to make a damaged tile procedural material in Quixel Mixer, and then export the material and bring it into Blender 2.9. The link to download Quixel Mixer is in the description. Let's get on with the tutorial. We will be exploring how to make a broken tile procedural material in Quixel Mixer, exporting the material and using it in Blender 2.9 in this tutorial. I would recommend watching my Getting Started in Quixel Mixer video before proceeding with this tutorial. Select New Mix to start up a blank project. Give it a title and a resolution. We are presented with a blank base layer on which we can build out the material. I will begin by making a base layer for the tile. I'm then going to add a concrete floor texture. If you don't have this texture in your local library, Download it using the Online tab. Look under Concrete and Rough. I then wrap to Underline. And turn up the Threshold. I also changed the color of the albedo to a gray tone. Next, I add a sidewalk texture that provides some additional texture to the concrete. I turn up the Wrap to Underline and the Threshold. I also change the Radius to get a better blend between the two textures. And I also change the Albedo color. By changing the high and low frequencies, I can invert the bumps and make them point inwards. I also tile in the X and Y axes three times. This gives me a texture repeat and it becomes smaller. I add another layer of the same concrete texture. This time I use From Above for the blend. I change the threshold. and the Wrap to Underline. I then change the albedo color to a gray. For the tiles, I used a pattern ceramic tile. Turn the radius to zero and change the threshold so the tile sits above the base.
I then change the high and low frequencies to maximum. And this will highlight the irregularities in the tile. In order to remove some of the tiles, I right click on the ceramic tiles layer and add a paint mask. I choose a brush and change the size. I also use black for the brush color so I can remove tiles. I can also change the angle of the brush to affect the tiles. And I can use the eraser to remove parts of the mask. Now that I am satisfied with the material, I'm going to export the maps. I choose my export location, and I choose my file format. I'm going to export all the maps, so I'll leave everything checked and click on Export 7 Maps. In Blender, I delete the cube and add a plane. I rotate the plane around the x axis 90 degrees. Then, under the Shading Workspace, I add a new material. And since I have the Node Wrangler add-on activated, I can select the Principal Shader and use Control, Shift, and T to open up the File View window and select my maps. All the maps are automatically set up in their proper order. I can now make any adjustments I wish to the material. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.